There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chains, to break every chains, to break every chains, eh? to break every chain. Father, I thank you, Lord, because of the power in the name of Jesus to deliver those in captivity. Father, I thank you, Lord, because of your awesome power to heal the sick, to open the eyes of those that are blind, and to raise the dead. Father, blessed be your name in the name of Jesus. Lord, I lay my life at your feet this hour. I know, Lord, that I'm a sinner. I've come short of your glory. Father, I pray to you, God, that you cleanse me from every unrighteousness that will hinder the move of your power through this message in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit of God, I need your power. Father, break your fire and your power upon me in the name of Jesus. Whatever you are going to use me to do this hour, Father Lord, let it bring forth divine testimonies in the life of the viewers in the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Savior. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Praise the Lord. I welcome you once again to another episode of The Healing Clinic. And today we are looking at his title, Heal Me, O Lord. Heal Me, O Lord. In Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 14. The Bible says, Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved, for thou art my praise. The true and unquestionable healing comes from God who created you. I repeat, true and unquestionable healing comes from the Lord that created you. Beloved, I am 100% confident that God can never fail when he promises. When God says, I will do a new thing, he will surely do it. When God says, I will heal you, he will surely heal you. In Isaiah chapter 55, verse 11, the Bible says, So shall my word be that went forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I pleased, and it shall prosper in the things whereto I sent it. Also in Numbers 23 verse 19, the Bible says, God that we serve is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. As he said, and shall he not do it? As he spoken, and shall he not make it good? I pray for you this hour that the fire from heaven will consume all the sicknesses in your body in the name of Jesus. I pray and I decree by the decree of heaven that the root cause of your problems will be exposed, will be disgraced, and will be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I cause the tree of sickness in your life to wither and catch fire in the name of Jesus. That tree that is producing sickness in your body, I cause that tree right now to wither and catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus. I cause your inherited sickness to expire to fall and to rise no more by the authority and power in the name of Jesus. I command the sickness that entered into your body through the water, through the food, and through the dreams to come out with their root and return no more in the name of Jesus. I command by the authority and power in the name of Jesus that anyone that is keeping vigil to sow sickness into your body, they will die shamefully in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, will visit you today and you will receive your healing through His power in the name of Jesus. I thank God for this wonderful session because your healing is permanent. Your healing is permanent. Your healing is permanent. In the name of Jesus, God says, heal me and I will be healed. That word I stand upon right now for as many as those that are sick. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Father, for this wonderful session. Thank you, Lord, for the power of God that has healed the sick. In Jesus' mighty name, it is settled. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. Thank you for watching and keep watching. Keep spreading the good news and keep praying till the devil is defeated out of your life. Till we meet next time for another episode of Healing Clinic. God bless you. Bye.